I hope you guys are ready for the Hummer content because we are headed to Roush Creek, the local off-road park, right now. Uh, finally going to try out the H3 on some real trails. Now, I have not put the rear locker in. Uh, the only thing is cranked keys and the new tire. So no, no rear locker. We'll see how it does, and then I'm going to put the locker in and see how much better it does for another video. Now, one of the things I am most excited about, every once in a while, the Facebook Marketplace just shines down upon you and you see a girl who had no idea what she had in her garage and it ends up being a, a tire spare tire mount for an h2 now we did get the one for the limo that streets be kind of kind of bent up a little bit um so so we do have that one and it would kind of work but i needed the latch we lost the latch um and those are like a hundred and some dollars themselves so i got a full set of oem h2 wheels and this spare tire carrier off of Facebook Marketplace for $100. Not, and the girl like didn't have anything marked as far as what they were for or anything like that. I just recognized and I was like, dude, I got to go pick that up. Because you can't find one of these spare tire carriers for less than about $600. And that's on the low end if you can find one. Um, and it was like less than an hour away. So I think we're going to pop this guy on because it's only four bolts. Where's the extra, like, what's this go to? What? Oh, the extra bolt there? Yeah. I feel like this doesn't have the option. Well, that's interesting. Like, I'm not saying that yeah. back in behind there's not a threaded hole that you have to drill through or something, but... Huh. You're right. Is it on both of them? No, it's just the one. Yeah. Well, I don't think you need it. Okay. Go ahead, put it right... There you go. There we go. That's not so bad. Okay. I'm okay. I'm super strong. Okay. Okay. Well, at least she ain't coming off. No, I don't think so. Let's, let's do get her close there. That was a lot of mud. It looks like it's got air in it, so that's good. I actually did pump up my spare for the first time. It was completely empty. I'd like to get a black rhino, or I mean not a black rhino, but get a, a tire for the black rhino. I have a fifth wheel. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, just a, yeah, Junk 37. Yeah, we have the matching spare to this, but not oh with a tire. You just gotta lift it up. Oh yeah. We are officially ready to get on the road. It's about an hour drive. And uh, we're just hoping, we're just hoping that the H3 makes it. They're not the most reliable. We were just ready to leave, and then Lance was like, absolutely, we have to go back. I forgot the most integral part of this whole adventure. You want to show them what it is? I figured I got to put a car jar in this Hummer. <laughs> that's the that's the trail barometer, however much yeah. that bounces. Swings and, and, yeah, bounces. And I got a fresh one for the H3. Just calibrate it real quick. <laughs> it's, uh, it's good? Well, you got to do like the figure eight motion. And that gets it. Okay, now it's good to go. All right, flash forward. We are out at Rash, Roush Creek. And uh, let's see, we got a Jeep there and there was some huge buggies just a second ago here when I pulled in. Um, so basically the H3 is equal to anything that's here. Um, Lance is over there getting signed in. He somehow got, I don't know, he lost track of the road and got like six miles behind us but we are just about ready to go now there's like two sections to the park i think this is the one the west and the south and then there's the northeast i think we did whichever one we stayed on this side of the road last time yeah because that's the road there and then the park office is well i don't know oh yeah camelback snake bite yeah this is what we did last time all right, we are hitting the trails. Lance is gonna lead just because he has a nice, uh, he had a nice place to put the GoPro. Um, and I thought it shooting back might be the best and then I can get hit, I don't know. I don't know what the best, I'm not a professional filmographer. Um, but we are going across the street to the whatever other side property is. Um, Cause we did not come over here last time. So kind of a new experience. Now, I told this story last time I was here. The first time I ever came to Roush Creek, before I had YouTube, any of that stuff, they said, any body of water <laughs> that doesn't have a name by it is 
not deep. And uh, then we went into one that didn't have a name. And uh, it was definitely deep. Oh, pretty deep. Might not make it. All right, that's just a puddle. All right, Lance is doing some red trail. We didn't even have, he wouldn't stop for me to like even look up what the name of it is, but he's going for it. So I'll give him some credit here. But I still like, I need to, I don't know if I want to check. <laughs> All right. I think you're in, I don't know where the road, like the entrance is. What side of the thing? Are, okay, this is the right side. Entrance, entrance is here. So you're on this thing. You're on yeah. F. F says it has an asterisk next to it. Hey, I should just attempt it. Okay. Let's go. All right, I think go for that tree stump on that side. Okay. Can't see anything. Hold on a second. Okay, uh, driver a little bit. Now straight. Yep. Now you gotta get up over this rock here and turn into me. Yep, go, keep going. Yep, you got it. Yep, yep, yep. What is that noise? Oh, hold on one sec. Turn the, yeah, turn this way. All right. You see here? Okay. I'll tell you what. Let me get down here. Follow your track just the way you're going. Just keep turning at the exact same angle. Yep. Now, your rear's got to get up on here, which is going to be the trick. Yep. Okay, you're good. Your rear's going up. All right. Now, you're going to have to turn it hard this way and push it a little bit. Now you're stuck. Okay, you are stuck and you're not gonna make it. And you can't back up. Try it in, let me try this thing in low okay. and just see what happens. Okay. Cause I'm in, I'm in literally just right there all this. Okay. Oh, you might get it now, okay. Yep, I think you did. Good job, bud. Yep, and then just keep cranking. Keep cranking, okay. Yep. You're going to kind of fall off that back one. Hopefully it doesn't scrape up your bumper. But yeah, just keep cranking this way. Otherwise, you're going to be onto a rock over here. All right. You're about right. Your, your tire's about half. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's fun. All right. You're about ready to come off. Oh, you made it. Nice. Then just, yeah, pull out. This up here is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Okay. Oh, uh, now you're on your rear end. All right. Yep, you got it. Woo! Wish I had shown that. Now turn it straight. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. You got it. Now go this way a little bit. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. I think you're going to be okay. Keep going. All right. Hold on a sec. Let me see here. Okay, I think you're gonna throw that rock under there. Hold on, let me just look here. I think you'll be okay. Yep, you're through. Yep, there you go. All right, you're about to come off. You're gonna be on the frame harder than I was. There you go. Yeah. Just kind of keep her cranked. Oh yeah. That's fun. Car jar is going freaking <laughs> Car jar is like shaking. Oh yeah.
dude, you should see just on these little trails how much your front end, it, the wheels are pointing towards each other. I don't have great brakes to just launch it. I'll turn it this way just a little bit. Yep. Now it's looking good. Now start cranking this way as much as you can. Ah, uh, yep. That's what I was kind of afraid of. You might have to give it some to get out of that dirt. Okay, I think you got it. I think you might get it. Oh, man. Yeah, it's kind of counterintuitive. There you go. You got it. Nice, dude. Yeah, you're good. I don't want to attempt going up there. Huh? I don't want to attempt going up there. Do it. Try this side. You want to try going up this side? I thought you might want to. All right. So yeah, well, let me let me stack a rock for you. Give it a little boom. That bit out. Where's the car jar? Oh, what does it mean? With the car? What, the? what do you mean? Does that mean it was a good time? <laughs> All right, well, the H3 and the H2 made it down a red trail, and the H2 made it back up the one side, but not the other. Um, that is the first red trail I have ever done. He was stopping for a second. Got a little sketch. All right, we're good. Pretty capable? It feels good. Like, it's not, it's nothing like being in yours. Like, I am, it's smooth. Like, yeah. I no drama, honestly. My back kind of hurts. Yeah, well, you had your tires at 60 pounds. Oh, man, okay. This is considered a blue trail, but it doesn't look very blue. Coming down blue, maybe.
No battery, you said. I think your only option is a major run at it. Huh? I think your only option is a major run at it. Well, that was the first true defeat for the H3. I I don't know that there was anything. I, oh, okay, there's a rock there. I didn't see. Um, I don't know there was anything I could have done to get it up there. I I mean, short of doing like 40 up it, that might have done it. But that was a that's a tough little plinks. So this is I don't know. It's a red another red trail. We're going down because we realize we probably can't make it up it. No, you did better than me. I think it's a short wheelbase. Uh, you go left. Yeah, well. Yeah, do what you can do. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. I, I don't know what to say about that. About ready to come off. mirror off.
I I do wanna What the I do wanna apologize. I really what didn't the I up, man. I really didn't think you could it do it. It was not easy. I'm impressed. Dude, hold on, I gotta go look at that. Dude, look down, it's so bad. I don't think you can do it. I didn't think you could. That was fun. I think Alright, that is I think part of the reason you did it is because I said you couldn't. Yeah, I, I did. I was just straight on the throttle. Like, <laughs> I know. Like once I got that first one, I was like, well, I, number one, I don't want to back up at this point. So With the, without the locker, man, like anytime your rear axle flexes, you're out of luck. Yeah. Oh yeah. I do interrupt this uh, off-roading session to bring you a car jar update. We are on a green trail. Uh, green trail, trail is the most mild. The uh, car jar appears to be swinging at somewhere around, you know, 20, 25 uh, swings per minute, which means that we are on a fairly mild trail. It actually matches up that it is green. Uh, we will send these reports back to the off-road park. That way they can confirm that it really is a green trail. Going straight down? Going straight down. It is straight down too. It is. Not bad. Barely touching the frame. That's good. Actually, turn this way. Yep. 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 I may, <laughs> I might have picked a so bad like, trail. Why did we take the blue trail, man? Like we should. You were like, a, you were. I'm good with that. This is a shortcut, though.
we made it back to the entrance. Everything seems to be fine on the H3. I don't think we broke anything. Maybe got a couple scratches up there. This guy I noticed was, these are famous for flying off. I think we're still all right. Um, but the H3 is doing great. Now, um, if you do notice, my one wiper does not does not work here. But uh, I think we're wrapped up for the day before we destroy anything. I'm just doing a quick walk around here. Nope. I think we made it sort of without issue, which is a miracle. And the H2, Lance is getting a sign out over there. And, uh, you know, I think it's okay too, although it really needs some, it really needs some front end work. With that, I really appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed the H3 on the trails content and uh, see you next time.